Um, yeah, that's an actual fact. I seen uh, the Bimmy video with Queens Flip. I thought it was real good. Uh, I can't lie. At times, I did say, wow, this brother, um, you know, because he was speaking how Preem got down. And Preem case, I think, is still up for appeal. Or I think he's still trying to appeal his case. So, if the DA in them was to get wind of that, they said, wow, but you knew about this and blah, blah, blah. So, you understand what I mean? And I think it's a little bit different from the Prodigy situation when he was speaking about E-Money Bags. Because I think E-Money Bags was already dead or it was already put in play. But as far as Preem um, still appealing his, his case, I could see where, um, you know, they probably was like, yo, take that down. Or maybe you could put it up after, um, you know, the smoke clears, whatever's said and done. I hope the brother Supreme gets his appeal. Um, you know, shout out to him, his family, his son, everything. I see his son is doing big things. Um, I'm following him on um, Instagram also. So, um, but then I see uh, people on YouTube, a lot of YouTubers automatically, um, you know, put up their opinion or whatever. And that's all good about how, you know, the big homie made the phone call, Preem made the phone call uh, to uh, Bimmy and Bimmy took it down. What was he, if that was the case, what was he supposed to do? Especially if that's his big homie. Okay. All right. Especially if that's his um, big homie, you know what I'm saying? Like he said, Prem was a father figure, so out of respect, he's gonna take it down. No, no not even asking no questions. Big homie wanted to take him down. Like he said, that's his brother slash father figure. So he's gonna take that down. He's not gonna do anything to hurt Prem. In, in anything that he said in that interview, I don't think it was deliberately to hurt Prem's case. I don't think Bimmy's a hater like that dude's running around saying Bimmy's a snitch. You know, Bimmy's hating on Prem. I don't think that's the case. <clears throat> and then dudes are saying, yo, how is um, Bimmy messing with Fifth when Fifth was enemies with Prem? See, a lot of, of a lot of us, man, that's looking on, we don't know the true history. Like Bimmy said that 50 wanted to get with Prem. It wasn't no real drama. The hip-hop thing, and I feel a lot of people probably felt like um, Irv Gotti and them amped the whole situation up. Because they might have been a little frightened of 50. They heard his name ringing bells. So now they got Prem on their side. And a lot of times when the little homies, they got a big OG on their side. Um, should always be walking beside them. Not in front of them or in back of them. But at the same time, they start talking wild crap. And they, and they, they amp the situation. And Prem being a thorough cat, the way dudes is describing it. He felt like, yo, I got a whole, I got a whole, if they getting at them, eventually they will try to get at me. And you see, um, Black Just got murdered. God bless the um, dead um, Black Just. That's close enough to Prem as it's supposed to get. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, they was trying to touch Prem, but um, Black Just got caught up in um, the crossfire. So he got some of Prem's aura because that was his man, Rock Solid. And, you know, it's street stuff. Preem went and did what he had to do for his man. And it's just crazy because it's all black on black violence, man. And we're slowly killing each other down. Really, a lot of times for nothing. You know?